Is that the lake right before you go? So yeah, oh, from here. Yeah, because Cold Springs is right here. Um, so we got up here from Central Valley, hiking at there, not hiking, camping at the trailhead tonight. Got nine miles tomorrow. Full swing. It's go time. Dude, we are setting up camp for the first night at Cold Springs Campground before we embark on a heroin tale. Just uh, four nights of nothing but testosterone, trail baddies, and heat. <laughs> AKA, we're hiking Sawtooth Pass. <laughs> Put it on autofocus. Yeah, I got you. How good? What's for breakfast? What do you got, bro? So we got some peanut butter. Organic. Nice. Welcome, Mom. <laughs> Organic Pop-Tart. Mmm. On top, full protein, 100% healthy. <laughs> well, what right. flavor Pop-Tart, bro? Strawberry. <laughs> With peanut butter, baby. With peanut butter. <laughs> made it halfway and I think I'm definitely the most out of shape on the team. I'm freaking dying. Um, first half was gnarly, just straight uphill with no stops. Um, second half was pretty nice, just going downhill into the valley, but now we have four more miles until we reach campsite first day, then we make it to the campsite. I think this one's I think you get chopped down one. It'll be fine. Woo! Oh. What are you eating tonight, Colin? I'm going with a delicious meal of three cheese mac and cheese, and then a couple dried sweetened cranberries for dessert. No, it's too close. I'm eating chicken alfredo we pasta, baby. Wait, what? Tell me again. It's not brewed yet, so I gotta wait. Chicken alfredo pasta. Uh, it's white chicken with pasta, noodle, and alfredo sauce. Noodle. It's been inspected by the U.S. Department of Agriculture, too, Ooh. so we're conscious. What are you eating? I'm eating pesto pasta with hemp seed protein. Visiting with rotini noodles, hemp seed, dried tomato, and parmesan cheese. Serves too. Quite a granola meal there. Serves too. Delicious and nutritious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh frick, it's not focused on. So we woke up and got hiking pretty quick. Um, John and Colin are pooping right now. Just pooping. We just had to dip out real quick because the gnats were eating Matt alive. Gnats or mosquitoes? <laughs> mosquitoes were eating Matt alive. So we probably got like, what, a mile and a half done already? I think so, at least. Maybe two. And we're, at like we're on our way to Bear Paw, and we have a crazy incline today. We're going 13 miles. And like 5,000 elevation gain? 5,000 elevation gain. Maybe more. So... It's gonna be a good day. Thank you, Smart Water, one of our reluctant sponsors. We'll go like through that way, but in front of that big peak, I think. Uh, and then way around the precipice right over there. here. We're, We're going, going from here all the way up to there, and we'll swim in that lake tonight. Yay. Yes. <laughs> Did you guys poop a lot when you pooped? Um. Got out of the trees 
and on the right side, the canyon opened up. That was sick. The climb was pretty gnarly. So the far ridge over there with like the, looks like ski runs that will kill you. That one and this one right here, we came right between. So we came up over the side of that and then came down in between, in between these two ridges and came all the way around. All the way around, up to here. And we're going up there. And we have a, a day's journey <laughs> left, <laughs> at least. <laughs> oh, I'm definitely feeling it a little bit, but then the canyon was nuts. Up ahead, we saw the waterfall. Big descent across the canyon by a bridge, which has some sick waterfall action. Then back up on the other side, and that's when we start hitting some of the lakes. We were pushing hard to get to Hamilton Lake by lunch, and it was survival. <laughs> Just low, low energy, needed some calories. Matt saved me with the strawberry apple applesauce and then we slept under trees while it rained on us honestly no clue i totally lost my gauge of time um no clue how long that took i biff it on well, while my backpack got hooked on a tree as i was crossing a log and i just fell into a river <laughs> that was brutal so it had just rained river below us log to get across He's walking, he's walking, we're feeling good. He makes it to the end. Branch catches his backpack, throws him off, he tries to step to the bank, almost makes it, slips once, crashes on his side into the rock <laughs> bank, and then just full falls into the river. <laughs> Comes out just dripping wet. Frick that tree, dude. Frick that tree. <sighs> we're way down on that trail, cutting through the rock, and we came all the way up, Got rained on. Got rained on for the longest two miles. We right. hid right down in those trees and then hit this lake. And then we came all the way up from this lake. And right down in that lake, somewhere on that log, John fell in. How do you feel, John? Wet. <laughs> um, just soaked. So then we climb out. It's a brutal climb, 2,000 feet in two miles. So just straight up. And we're trying to get to Lake Precipice. So we just knocked out this lake right here. The first lake that we saw is over this and down there. And then the last lake, the one we're gonna eat some dinner at is right over here, right over this like ridge line in this bowl. And then we're probably gonna go that way. Um, yeah, Steve and Klein. I bust my shin open on a rock. That sucked. That, it looks like you can see just like the lower layers of flesh. <laughs> and then we get to Lake Precipice. Gorgeous. So we made it to Precipice Lake. Shut up. That's good, that's We're here. Just a massive like great wall of China. Um, just granite wall, and then this super still lake, freezing cold. Go for a little swim, a little ice bath. Get after it. You understand why water is tied to rebirth? Because we go for a little dunk and just like factory reset completely new people. Ice bath it. As soon as we get out, it starts raining. Matt says, maybe I should put on my raincoat. Getting rained on. Little foreshadowing. We get absolutely dumped on for the next half hour. Some hail included. Heard some thunder as we head over the pass. Get yeah. super sketch. Yeah, there's no footage of that. <laughs> just, just imagine like wind tossing, lightning bolts, thunder, hail, sleet, snow. Matt is just praying in tongues. There's a survi <laughs> survival mode. And I was like, I didn't even know Matt could do that. But no, you can't pray in tongues apparently. Because Matt was doing it. And we skip Heart Lake because there's no coverage and we're just sprinting down this valley that's actually really gorgeous. And we get under some trees, set up tents in the rain. Oh yeah, dude, like right here. And we it's cold. 
old. Matt's sleeping bag is soaked because <laughs> he put his jet boil in his dry bag and not his sleeping bag. And we were all soaked. And then as soon as we get our tents up, the sun comes out, which is a godsend. And we cook. I ate chicken fried rice, slapped. Eli had some scrambled eggs, also bomb. So we just got rained out. Um, couldn't film anything because the rain was so gnarly. And we literally just couldn't stop hiking and we had to find some trees. So we didn't get to stop where we wanted to. Um, set up our tents in the rain, which sucked. But we're here. Now we're chowing down, trying to get our, trying to get our freaking necessities in. Drug thing, the necessities, dude. Man, Matt has a wet sleeping bag. He's an idiot. He left it out of the dry bag. He's not an idiot. Who is an idiot though is me, because I lost my fork. <laughs> really stupid. How many mangoes you got in there? Well, do you want one? Yeah. Get in there, dude. We kind of crushed those at 2,000 elevation climb. Mm -hmm. And then got caught in the thunderstorm. Match cold. Any last words, John, till tomorrow? Um, dude, living the dream still. What? Amen. And now, yeah, now we're just like recapping, drying off, enjoying the last sunlight. <laughs> we did it, and now the next couple days should be pretty simple, pretty easy. So, looking forward to that, but man, it's beautiful out here. Glory to God. It's nice and peaceful for now, because it'll probably, you know, start raining soon. That's how it goes. That was day two. Day three! Day three! We are wet. <laughs> Everything is wet Everything and cold. <laughs> Today started in the most beautiful place you've ever seen. We cruised down a couple miles through rolling hills by the river. Life was great, crossing a couple streams, hiking in Tevas. And then we got smacked in like three quarters of a mile, just straight up. It sucked. We made it to the top, ended up at this beautiful lake, just cacked out on a rock, ate some lunch, swam for a while. Life was good, we were feeling rejuvenated. I just wanna hike this. Do it. Should I? Yeah. I think I get warm pretty quick. We decided we were gonna push on all the way through to the top of Lost Canyon, which is where we are now, cruising through a bunch of trees that have been blown over by avalanches, long rivers, it was a great day. Now we're here in Lost Canyon, happiest place on earth, about to go up Sawtooth tomorrow morning, like five something a.m., get up, get going, try to get all the way back to the car tomorrow. It should be a good day. You didn't get that. <laughs> oh, what lens is that? It's my 85. Welcome to Trail Food. I'm Chef Matt, making some peak refuel breakfast skillet, packed with 39 grams of protein. It looks freaking good, so I'm excited. How you feeling, bro? Uh, it's been a pretty rough day. <laughs> Why? Um, I thought today was gonna be easy, and it wasn't. <laughs> what made it hard? There's <laughs> a lot of uphill. A lot of up uphill, and I don't have a ton of food because I didn't prepare very well. What are you eating tonight? Oh, tonight I'm eating Forever Young <laughs> mac and cheese. Uh, apparently this is the worst brand, so nobody told me that. How are you going to eat it? Not with a fork because I lost it, so I have to wait for them to finish their food. Um, <laughs> But tomorrow we have a pretty intense hike, and uh, I hope I don't die. That's really my goal in this whole thing, is just not to die. 
Wait, why didn't anyone tell me I still had white stuff on my face? Hey, do I have a mic? What the frick, yeah, guys? I you liked it, bro. <laughs> John's a little bean. Oh, no. um, we're camping out right under Sawtooth, and um, to Ma do we change plans? So we did. We've changed plans a lot. This is uh, calling him Matt and Tent Nemo. In Tent Nemo. <laughs> Tent Nemo, baby. Um, guys. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna head out. Tomorrow, we're gonna finish all of Sawtooth tomorrow and then just go down the hill and call it a day. What are we gonna eat, bro? And we're gonna go get in and out at uh, Clovis? No, Fresno, Blackstone, Fresno, River Blackstone, Fresno. Tonight, we're gonna go stargazing and it's gonna be sick and we're gonna go at 12. Right now, it's currently 7.36, so we're gonna get some sleepies in. Watch the stars, wake up, eat breakfast, climb, swim in a lake, Climb, go down, in and out. Currently, currently 12.30 in the morning. I'm trying to get these shots. It's gonna look a little grainy. <laughs> yeah, this is what we're looking at here. Hopefully it turns out, we'll see. Coming for you. Yeah, we are. We just climbed. What Walked was it, up a hill. Five hundred feet. Seven hundred. Seven hundred feet. But just minutes. like we thought, it was gonna take. Cranked it out. Two hours. It took us forty minutes. Forty minutes. We're Hour twenty ahead of time. How do you I feel? Get it out soon. I'm <laughs> yeah. stoked. I literally was thinking about the bridge. <laughs> On the ascent, up to Sawtooth. Uh, we're so close. That's so pretty. Do it again. That's so sick. We did it. Had your rocky life. <laughs> Came from that valley right over there. Came up this and then up this, and we made it. Coming down this, this step is gnarly. All the way down. <laughs> Here we go. We did it! Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. We made it! We got lucky. We got lucky. So lucky. Praise God. Oh, I just... We're here. We yeah! We're alive. Yeah! I wish you could smell yeah. it. Yeah! Oh, I want it. Now, burger. We were just up there. It's gnarly, dude. 